so in this video today, I'm going to be going over this look right here. I wanted to do a silver smoky eye. I have been waiting to try a look that really uses the Lorac 2 palette, the Lorac Pro palette too. Definitely a tutorial for you if you have this palette. Um, but I really, really am loving this look, so I hope you guys do too. If you wanna learn how to get it, then please keep on watching. <laughs> I feel so alive I've never felt this way before To start off this tutorial, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original and this is going to be my eye base to make sure that none of this creases or goes anywhere. I'm then going to be using my Max Paint Pot in Lay and Low to go on top. I'm going to be using Hikari's Silver Liner to put on top of my bases. I'm going to focus this liner on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's Haywire Eyeshadow on top of that liner as well as the middle of my lid. I'm going to be going into my Lorac Pro Palette number two, and I'm going to be using this white shadow up here called Snow in the inner corner. I'm then going to take this color up here, charcoal and a pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend this into the outer corner of my eyes. And finally, to blend this out and transition this so everything looks nice and clean and blended, I'm going to be taking my cool gray color from the same Lorac palette, tapping it off a little bit, and blending this into the crease of my eye. I wanna make the silver pop out a little bit more. I'm gonna be taking my brush that I applied it with and some dewy finishing spray from NYX, and I'm going to spray this brush. Oops. And then going into that shadow again. And I'm gonna place him towards the inner corner and middle of the lid. I also wanna do the same thing with that white shadow that I used called Snow from the Lorac Pro Palette 2. To finish off this transition, I'm going to be using the color Buff on my brow bone. And if you want a little bit more of a warm tone in this eye, try using a little bit of Nectar and Cool Gray mixed together. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Fix and Perfect Primer from Ramel. I want my face to be very matte, so I'm gonna be taking my NYX Matte Finishing Spray, and I'm gonna spray my face now, and then I'm gonna spray my face when my makeup is all finished. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the color W6. To apply this, I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender. To highlight underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my NYX concealer in the color number two, and this is the Dark Circle Concealer. To set my foundation, I'm gonna be using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I'm gonna keep my bronzer really light and really simple, so I'm just gonna be taking some of these two colors right here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Frankly Scarlet. And for highlight, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills' highlight right up here in that same palette. For the brows, I'm going to be brushing them out and then filling them very lightly with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. And this is going to be in the dark brown color. 
For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the MAC Cinderella Collection Little Black Bow Gel Eyeliner. For this eyeliner, I'm just going to be lining my lash line. I'm not going to wing it out. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some Smoky Lash Mascara from Makeup Forever. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking the charcoal color again and applying it underneath my eyes. And to make sure my eyes look very open and bright, I'm gonna apply some Hikari White Eyeliner to the waterline. I wanna go with something nude for the lips, so I'm going to be applying my Lipstick Queen Nude Lip Liner all over my lips. I'm then going to tone this down with my MAC lipstick in Japanese Maple. And to finish off this look, I'm going to be applying some NYX Matte Setting Spray to set all of this and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to me so that you can see all of the latest videos. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.